Hey guys, Khalid from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here, and I'm here with the player of the match of the Mzanzi Super League Final 2.0, Henry Davids. Henry, amazing performance. What does this win mean to you? Yo, a lot. You know, I've uh, basically started my career here at Paul at Bolan Park, uh, being living just around the corner uh, in Panil. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really special, you know, having a family here. My wife, my kids, my mom. Um, you know, it was a, it was a special. It was really special. You had to really step up today because obviously after James Vince left, you had to step up again and play that anchor role, that play the main role over here for your side. What was it? How did you? What went through your mind mentally to structure your innings? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the key thing was obviously just for us to get a part of going. You know, uh, with myself and Cameron, we have license to play our game up front. Um, I think most of the tournament has worked for us. We've had the last couple. I think the last couple of games, four, five, six games, we've had a decent partnership going uh, to set it up for the middle order. You know, so uh, I think if you have wickets in the end, the beginning, if you have a good start, it's easier to play with one lesser batter. But if, in saying that, you know, we had one game where a guy like uh, Sibs Mukanya and Calvarain won a game for us yeah. at the Wonders. You know, we were four down very early on, and the guys stepped up. You know, so um, it's also great to see the depth. Even though you don't have one recognized batter or, or experienced batter, the young guys came through and they. We all, we've all chipped in through the whole tournament. What's, what, as Fafs Duplessis' captaincy, how key has it been and what is, makes him such a special captain? I think he's fairly calm, you know, obviously with the experience he's got in, in playing all over the world, uh, playing against everyone in the world as well. So that's second to none. Uh, he brings the calmness to the team as well and the guys are fairly clear in the plans, how you to go, especially with the ball in hand and the field placings. The batting, we've got a set way of how we want to go about it. Um, not hard, hard in, up front, but at a decent uh, rate up front, you know, try to get a partnership or a foundation set for the team and then from there uh, everyone chips in, you know. Like I said, uh, most of the tournament, there wasn't like two guys that outscored everyone, like, you know, the weight of the runs, it was everyone that chipped in. So that obviously does help. Uh, going into a tournament, you know, like, like the guy after you might uh, um, win a game for you, so it's nice to go into a game with that comfort. Uh, we just got a new point for the Proteas with Mark Boucher as coach and you know him very well playing mm. with him. Just please give me some insight into what type of coach he is and what type of man he is. I think it's, a, it's hard. Craig, I think, is a, a, probably the right choice for South African cricket at this moment. Is what we need. Someone that's hard, that's straight to the point. You know, his, his cricket knowledge is second to none. You know, he's played almost 150 test matches, not first class matches. Mm. You know, um, that's massive for South African cricket. Um, he is a good people's person. He's changed a lot since his cricketing days. Uh, I think you would love me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but obviously his knowledge is, is unbelievable, you know. Um, I think at the moment in South African career we need someone like that at, 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 at the top, um, coaching-wise. So I think with him there um, and the right personnel, I think our cricket will get back to where it should be. Lastly, just a message to the Cricket Fanatics fans as well as the Paul Rocks faithful. Yo, the, the Paul Rocks faithful is unbelievable the whole tournament. We've had the best crowds by far out of all the franchises, you know. It says a lot for the people in this region, the people love sport. Rugby, cricket, whatever. If you put any sports field saying is there, there's going to be support, you know. So to them, um, I think this tournament, this win is for them as well, for all the support they've given us, for the backing, the atmosphere, atmosphere that they brought to uh, Eurolux Bull and Park. It's unbelievable. Thank you very much, Annie. Well done.